All right, happy New Year's, everyone. Hope you enjoyed last year. I uh, hope you have a, a better year this time. If you didn't, uh, so let me clear something uh, from our court case <laughs> from last week. Uh, so the votes are in, okay, and winner by unanimous decision, me sucker. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that one's over. I I gave it a week. I didn't hear no replies from him. Uh, so that's done. Hopefully, maybe he does an appeal or something. Anyways, we got a new uh, reply video here, so I'm gonna answer some of these questions. Okay. <coughs> and this is by uh, LL Electronics. Um, if you don't know who he is, I think he is the official guy to uh, to do screencasts for Lubuntu. So if you have Lubuntu and you're having problems, go harass him. Okay, and he'll fix it for you. Anyways, let's get to what he says here. I wrote it down because it was kind of long, man. Too long, man. You know, make it shorter. Um, so the first thing he says is that he thinks that I want to bash Debian. Um, no, okay. I don't want to bash any uh, thing, okay. But uh, if it comes, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, this is how I do things. I use uh, either a distro or an app or whatever for a while. After that, I make a video. Now, whether it be good or bad, it's not up to me, really. Okay, it's up to the program uh, that I'm using. Uh, did I have a good experience with it? Yes or no? Did it do what it's supposed to do? Uh, why is that the default? I have no idea. That all tallies up into the screencast. Okay, if it's poop. Guarantee you're gonna hear you know poop shit out of me, right? Uh, if it's good, guess what? I'm gonna say it's great. You should you use it. But if it's not, it's gonna be the same thing, just the opposite emphasis. Okay. Uh, so no, I do not want to bash anything. I wish everything I use is good. The fact that it's not uh, is what I do. You know, I just sell it what it like it is. I don't need to make up shits just to make Linux looks better or whatever it is, cause uh, just because it's open source doesn't mean that it doesn't suck. Okay, that's um I seen a lot of screencasters do this back in the days, and uh, when I decided to do screencasts, I would never do that because that is fucking lying, and uh, <clears throat> that's never what I, my intentions are is to lie to people just because I'm using Linux don't mean nothing okay I'm gonna actually tell you my experience um, and I've done this for uh, years now and it's always the same process I'm gonna give you an example <coughs> what was that um, the crap that Ubuntu gave um, or that released last time oh yeah the software center remember the first version of it who made that video me it was poop crap so I talked shit about it and uh, you know now that I'm using Debian or whatever I'm using uh, it's the same thing okay if it's poop <laughs> you're gonna hear it um, so that's it that's how I do it I don't like to bash anything but uh, if it comes then I'm gonna talk shit about it that's it <coughs> uh, okay now he's asking me where did I install the ISO or whatever yeah you go to the Debian site and I, I tell you I use uh, testing and then you know put the the SID uh, repositories in not that much of a difference so like, here's the 64 bit and then you download the first one and then you install it and then you add the the repositories now people keep telling me that this is a, a unstable or SID uh, problem or something not really because you're installing testing and if you install testing okay uh, it's gonna install the meta packages already and when you upgrade to SID well, guess what? The, the, it's already there. The base is already set up, right? So it's it's a problem with uh, the default in testing, I guess. Uh, you know, because uh, you already install everything. You're just upgrading now to SID, which is not that much because testing is is in a frozen state right now. All right. <clears throat> uh, next thing here is he said something about the alternative CD. I'm guessing he's saying that the alternative CD. It's just the text based install without the GUI, and you cannot do like a build your distro. Uh, I think that's what he's saying. But no, you can actually build a distro uh, using the alternative CD. You have to go into the 
command line install option because by default it, it just installs it um, you know the, uh, the the text version otherwise if you use the command line version you can actually build your own distro which I said I have done uh, I don't like to do it because it's fucking annoying you know you have to go oh yeah I picked this package pick that package and then oh I'm missing this and then it's a waste of fucking time that's why I don't do that um, and then what is this oh he's go to his major critic uh, and then and this one is from my first video <clears throat> which one is this um, the Bessario if I remove Bessario it removes his uh, GNOME and the GNOME desktop environment and he says that <clears throat> uh, this is not a big deal it can be fixed <clears throat> First of all, I don't dis uh, d disagree with him that it can be fixed. I already fixed all of this, okay? That's not the point of the video um, to say that, oh, you can fix this. The point is I shouldn't have to fix this fucking thing because it shouldn't be there in the first place. You know? that's the <laughs> That was my point. This is the default behavior. Uh, the video is not about fixing it, okay? I have other videos for fixing it. You know, the video was, that's the default. Uh, basically that's what I said and it is a big deal uh, because some people said you know the GUI installer is for newbies well you know if a newbie uses it okay let's say for example uh, guess what they want to remove something and something else installs which is stupid you know if you don't think that's stupid you're stupid okay if you want to uninstall something it's supposed to uninstall that fucking thing not install something else that's just retarded and that's what I was making the claim, okay, for that shit. Uh, and but he's talking about like removing Bresario. You're not actually removing all these other packages, which I already said that. You know, like uh, all these other packages unresolved. You're just having it there, and then if you do a auto remove, everything else will be removed. So I actually already fixed that. I don't know if you watched this video, but App Mark, okay, for people that don't know how to fix it, App Mark. That's the video you should watch. That's how you solve that that piece of crap. Which uh, you know you shouldn't have to in the first place, but you just have to deal with it now. Okay. Uh, so watch this thing, and you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's his major critic, and the other one he was talking about. Not really sure what he was meaning, but he said to remove Evans in Ubuntu, and you have the same problem. So let's do that. All right, remove Evans and type my password. All right, so he's talking about this part right here. If I remove Evans and um, right here, right Evans, it's gonna remove the Ubuntu desktop. Now the thing w with this is that it doesn't remove all the other packages that the Ubuntu uh, desktop is you know associated with because Ubuntu desktop is the meta package and notice that it doesn't give me that big ass list that says you should auto remove all these other things that you you're using right now that's what I was referring to and again refer back to this video if you want to you know a clearer answer to your question there but uh, that's how I solved that one okay uh, what is this here? Oh yeah, he says this is pretty funny. He says the videos I made on Debian uh, is just too much bashing for his liking, which I thought was really funny. I don't know what too much bashing is is to to his standard, but uh, uh, for me, I don't know. Hey, bashing is bashing. Okay, whatever it is, I don't choose which one I I, uh, I attack. Okay, it comes to me and I make a video like I said I don't choose to bash anything I, I hope everything would just fucking work for me or it should advertise what they advertise um, but it didn't then I, I, I make a video about it um, people don't like it that's fine um, you know so that's my video reply hope it was short I don't know how long this one is but uh, if you have any other questions do a reply